and welcome back to another episode. So it finished, and I right click down, and bam. So now I'm excited. So now this should be finished. Uh, I don't know how to tell if it is actually completed or not, but let's test it. So welcome back to another Modern Sky Block 2 with Wayno. I know I jibbed on that because I was just so excited that I finally got that. Uh, now I, I need some more gunpowder. So let's see if this actually uh, converts. I don't know if I need to whack it with its wand or just leave it there. So if I need to whack it with a wand I'm going to be very disappointed. Nope, that didn't work. So, how do you know if this is working? Oops, you don't do that. Nothing. Hmm. Okay then. Okay, the process is not very stable and the effect fades as soon as the gem leaves the liquid. For every device I've specified built to include the liquid starlight into mundane materials should be enough to keep the effect on the aquamarine present. Building on the past designs, designs, designing. Okay, just the structure it needs should be almost trivial. The structure will need to include the liquid starlight it requires for the infusing. The infusing process can be started the same way as the altar, which is the right click for this bad boy. Um, okay, have I built it wrong? Ooh. Okay, so it has, oh I think, I, I, I know what I did wrong, I was actually wrong to start off with, I did have 12, um, because when I put this block down, I didn't actually put this block here and this one to here. There. Now that's where I went wrong. So I'll need a mechanical user right clicking this bad boy pumping in from here and out from there. Okay. So I did build it wrong and you people probably sitting there screaming at me going Wait no, you forgot to do this! Ra 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 ra! And I cannot pick this gem up for some reason. Um whatever. So that is yeah, so that's why I had one missing because of that. So that is completed. I am quite joyful about that. Um I will be using my new pipes. Um we will need two chests, which I probably don't have, so we will just make some more, best addition is that, and we'll need a mechanical user, one of these, um, and we, no, actually yeah, I'll, uh, And that range collector is really handy. So, so to let's see if I can automate this because if I can automate this, uh, I will be very ecstatic. So we just do a use item on block. So the easiest way is we grab one of these and we go bam. And ha <laughs> ha look at that bad boy. Yes. Simple as. Now let's see if we can 
pump in and out. Ooh. Ah, uh, we can't actually pump in and out of this one. So, we can right click on it, however. So, let's see if. Nope, not on top either. So, we can't actually pump into this. However, we have more mechanical users. So, we should be able to. Do a simple thing as this. We need that. We want to use use item. Unblock. Right click. Uh, okay, that may not work. Okay, activate. There we go. Bam. The only problem is we need to pick it up. But that's fine. That is just absolutely fine because we can make another range collector. Um, uh, ch -ch 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 what is it called? A hopper. Because I will just make another one of them. So that's two obsidian. Unfortunately, I need to make some more obsidian. So. But let's see if that device up there actually makes obsidian. Uh, uh, we can get it from magna blocks. And then. Oh, we could get it from blade. Oh, no, you can't. Because we don't have that. Um, can we actually get that from. No. I can get it from Promise of That, but I need Nether Stars, and Nether Stars is from Silent Gems, Silent Gems from the Shards. Ooh. Oh, you need another Nether Star anyway, so you're back to being. Yeah. So no, so no, so no. I mean, I could do the Magna Blocks, because I can actually do the Star Infusion of these now. Um, and that's just Cactus with an Alchemy. Uh, I'll have to get some Blaze Rods from the Nethers. So that's fine. Um, I'll just get some Buckets. Side of it. I wonder what's stuck in it this time. It's probably lava or something. And there we go. Let's break this one and do this. And then break it again and then do this. So let's see what was left over is the distilled redstone. Um, I've actually worked out what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a signalum middle, uh, no, yeah, signalum middle part and a sig. Uh, a, hang on, which one was it? What am I doing? Um, just trying to think of two things at once. That's hurting. Um, I'm going to do the manulin casing and the signalum middle. That will give me the um, uh, a high enough on everything, which I think will work. So, um, and what did I use? Oh, that's right, to hold all those rocks. I'll just use this because that should be 
good enough. So let's place. Actually, I could have just placed it on that. Go. Okay, so that was not quite in range. So then I can move you to you. And now this will be a complete automated system. I mean, I can just dump in all the gunpowder I want here, and this will get converted when it's night time. And now I have glowstone. Look at that. Check that out, boys and girls. A fully automated system with little, little bloody uh, um, knowledge of the sit this. So it's quick test to see how good you are at with mixing and matching mods. So I'm quite proud of myself. Um, I thought it would have been as simple as just moving in and out, um, but no. But this will do a big area, so it may pick up some stuff that we don't want. Um, by the look of it, uh, it is actually a quite nice big area. I'm really enjoying these Endar hoppers. Dark Utilities has, you know, some incredible stuff. Looks like this only works at night time, so that is fine. Um, but yeah, I will just make heaps of glowstone over time. So I'm wondering if I can speed this up or anything, but I don't know. Um, yeah. So, and I wanted to do something over here with glowstone. That's right. Um, I don't really need to so anymore, but that's fine. I quite enjoy that. So with all that glowstone, I can actually upgrade my Signalum ducks, can't I? Put them in there to be upgraded. These will all be ended up upgrading as well, so it will just be over time. And there's my extra marble, which I completely stuffed up on many episodes ago. And you're all probably sitting there going, You're an idiot, man. You're an idiot. You built it wrong. So what? I learnt my lesson. It was fun. So, as I like to enjoy learning uh, these mods. I'll just pick this up and put you there as well, so you look snug as a snug there, snug as a bug as in a rug. Um, I should really build this, um, but as I said, this is full at night time, so um, I probably won't be doing anything more in Astral Sorcery because I don't know any more stuff from it. Um, and I'll probably have to go through the book to learn more. I mean, there's a celestial prism, which, you know... Okay, so this splits yeah, something. Um, there's some there. I don't even know. Oh wow, okay, so you can, that's pretty cool, turn your stuff into, to light the properties. Anyway, I'll read this off uh, onto a, oh wow, we actually have another thing to make. So I'll read this actually um, in another, uh, when I'm on break, because there is so much here to learn. I will not learn more, just read. Uh, see, there's different type of spectral lenses, coloured lenses. So there's still lots to learn in that mod. So I'll take a little bit of time to read that later. But now we have production of um, glowstone. 
So that will simply convert glowstone so I don't have to make it through this anymore because that was really expensive to do. So now all I need to do is actually automate this part here which I will get some filters set up with the new um, impulse ducts with signal and power on it and then I'll get this um, automated. I probably will move it, um, expand this out and then move it up and just have a power coming up like here or something like that in between because I don't mind them being here but it's yeah, in a 9 by 9 the wall sits here and right on that one so when you think about it you've got well this is one two three four five six seven oh no you can have one on outside I must have made the wall different on the other one but yeah um, so I'll just lift it up a bit and it'll be easier for me to play underneath quickly instead of having to go around jump up and stuff also it's not in the center so this will be moved eventually it probably could use more than 4,000 a tick through the Signalum one, but you can't, uh, not item duck, sorry, it's uh, flux duck. You can't actually add, uh, no, you, it seems that you can't actually have multi, like, uh, item ducks with it on there. So, yeah, so it, it will only do the 4,000 air or transfer items. So, it, that one actually doesn't even say, it just says transfers item and redstone flux. Which, yeah, that's interesting. And that's your basic one anyway, so this is the one that I actually want here, because this has got the speed and don't tell me I have to... I uh, know I can do this setup first. You open item duct and then attach it. So that is fine, which is the way that I will do anyway. So I have got item ducts being created, and I have the last nine, which is fine. And this means I will be moving on to applied energetics, uh, applied logistics. I don't even know why, but they did that. Uh, I don't know why or how. Uh, this is a signal and plated opaque. So to tell is this little line here. This is how you tell. So we'll break this. Oops, someone's going to have a cry at me because of it. I will need to keep the filters. Unfortunately, the um, I will have to rebind the filters. because the filters won't actually have my, um, the information stored. I don't know why. I don't know how hard it would be to do that, but it would be so nice if we could. And I just realised I probably need more of these ducks moved over before I did all this. But it will halt process for a little while, which is fine. Oh, I'm actually out of them, so I don't want to lose any of them, so I've got all of them. Now we will get these are the correct ones. So we'll be able to do some, but actually with the leftovers I will actually do all of them. So I need to do this one, because we only want the brown ones to come into them. I wonder what the upgraded one does, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually have to be... So we do one there, one there, one there, one there. So I have one signal and impulse left, which I can do that. The problem is, is I'll need a brown, I need one red and one brown, so one red and one brown, oops I've got two, hey stop it, thank you, okay fine, I will keep it, 
Um, I don't know how that managed to get there, but we will do all the filtering for the browns. Uh, that's a white list. So white list. White list. White list. Uh, yes. So let's just quickly check this one. It is set up. Okay, so now I need to do the impulse duct here. Coming. Not that way. Give me that back. Oh, really? Okay, I'll have to go up and get it. Okay, so we want one, that one here and that one here. We want a filter on this side only to allow that guy in. I could have actually done it around the other way, but I will. And then we just want that one with that guy in the whitelist. So, like so. I uh, probably can't put you back in now, but I could do you there, and then you there, and I need more of them upgraded. Uh, yeah, because they're not the upgraded ones. The upgraded ones are the impulse duct ones. It should say impulse. So I may have accidentally put one down there. So we should only need like a couple of them. Okay, I want to quickly check these. The easiest way is look for the white or the yellow line, which they are there. These one don't matter. Uh, this is correct. This is correct. That is correct. So they are all correct. Okay, cool. So we do this, and I actually needed quite a few more than I realized, but I knew this was going to happen. So we need down this, and this. Actually, I don't want that. Uh, actually, I can do that. So it will save it. Two of them. Bounce back over this way. 17 out of it so that's actually not too bad we will have leftovers for doing the other one but the other one I don't know how well it will go with these um, ducks because I've always used ender IO Ooh. Uh, maybe nah it doesn't really matter which way you do it so yeah I've always used ender IO ducks and stuff like that so and there it goes with the ender IOs you can like do different channels and different things and yeah so we're just waiting for two more to come through and then we'll start counting and it's roughly before it was 20 seconds oh that is a lie I thought I set you as a filter oh aha see good good testing so Give me that back. Since they're all connected, you need to make sure they work. So it should pop up. So, okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. So, good 13 seconds for the first one to pop up. So, and how long? Yeah, see? So, probably about 16 seconds total instead of, you know, it's hard, literally half the process of this. So, this is running really, really nicely. This is coming along nicely. These two are full on power um, because I am not actually doing this over here which I will turn back on I shouldn't need to turn back on but I do for now 
So that will get shipped out. Because if you look over here, I have 15 and 40 of them, which is just just awesome. I really should move all these around, put them all in actually color coded, and move like all the the actual main ones I need down this end. Because I don't really need. I don't even know. That's actually got nothing in it. Yeah, that one's actually empty. Uh, if it's deleting items again, that's going to suck. But we should be doing, you know, this. So, and then this one gets taken off. A little bit closer and jump. Same with this one. See? And then we should shift all them ones down and yeah. So I mean I don't even know what to do with the rubies and I know what to do with them. But other than that I wouldn't have a clue. But anyway, this is going to be running now. So they should be all using power. So and it's 400 a tick. So this should be losing lots of power. So yeah, it's 725 currently, and that's pushing 1.1, so this actually, oh wow, this sh hopefully doesn't turn the power back on, but for the initial boost, I kind of, I, I would like to see what it's outputting at, because you can't actually see, well, there you go, 739, so that's what it's doing, but that actually turned this on for a instant. So these two aren't quite enough. So we'll need a third one. So we will actually need a third one. So what are we currently sitting on? We're sitting on six, so two stacks and a 29. So we'll see if this actually falls down with this. And yeah, but hopefully with this, it will set up. The only thing I'll need to do is change or fix this. Because currently, I oh, actually I'll put all that back, put you back. I don't know. I forgot to do that. So I need to work out the automated way. I know that RF Tools has a auto crafter or auto one here. The so crafting tier three, which I don't need a tier three. I only need a tier one, which doesn't seem. Oh my god! Yes, it is actually f hard to do. Okay, so I won't be using one of them. I'll probably have to find a, a crafter. Let's see. A mechanical crafter. Hmm, that may actually do crafting. An analog crafter. Structural crafter, colossal chest wall, and a structure. So we may have to do something like that. There's a quantum crafter. I don't even know what that is. Now, really fine storage. So we may have to go something with like this. Uh, I don't even. I've never heard of um, structured crafting before. So it could be an auto crafter. I'll have to have a look. But since we have done a lot of revamping in pipes, we are good to go on to the next set. So I need to turn them into them. But the only problem is we're missing. Um, two more so replace them and eventually you'll get all our 12 back unless I've lost some in the void then I'll never see a full stack again but we are actually done nicely with upgrading these so all I need to do is change this tiny little bit over um, and we will be done on a lot of a lot of the pipes so we'll probably end up having to change all these pipes as well um, I don't think there's any piping in here so we have to do that but all this is pretty easy to change but we can actually work on refined storage now um, so all these piping here I could probably pick up and change um, and that will actually have that distilled redstone in so I'll just go yoink and replace so
and there we go. That should not have the refined in. Oh, it still does. It didn't pull it out. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. So we don't have to do glowstone through this anymore. We can just leave it up there doing heaps over time. Um, yeah. So we're actually set to start on refined storage or applied logistics. I will need to make one more machine if I want to. Uh, hasn't this been making... Or hasn't it been night time yet? Must have never been night time. No, it has, because it's rising. Did I break something? Hmm, I may have to come back up in a tick to see if I broke it. Because it should be still working, but there's none here. And there's all them there. So let me. Oh. That did it. Oh, we'll have to see. But it was working, anyway. Um, yeah, so if I want to start on actually uh, refined storage, I need to make these things here, which is through a chemical reactor. And that's the only way, and that's crushed quartz and iron. And I actually prefer refined storage. Let's see how hard this bad boy is. Uh, so it's an invar, two extractors, a compressor, and two. I could actually really easily make this, which I may do next episode. But that is it for this episode. I thank you for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Um, I don't know what else you got. Bring it. That, how's that? Just bring it. Um, and see, um, you know, leave a comment if you like it. If you don't, tell me something. Tell me something about yourself. Not about me, or how bad I am, tell me about one of your weaknesses. Just be like, I just, I suck at first person shooters, or, you know, something like that. Just to, just to see how far, you know. No, no nothing dirty, please. Um, I don't want to know if, you know, you can't get a, get it up on something else, you know, while you're looking at something. Something like that. Anyway, so I will see you next episode. Thank you for watching and have fun and later.